Cowboy Dipper here, and he's going to do a review on Cope Whiskey Blend. Company Cope Whiskey Blend. But he's going to get two shout outs first. Got my dog in the back again. Um, here are my shout outs Green, Grizzly Green Dipper, My Jug One, Joy Let's Dipper 94, Full Review, Zane Thomas, Real Dipper 24, That Dipping Girl, Kelp Cole, Pud Jug Dippers, Michigan Dippers, PM Dipper. Redneck Nation Co, Dipsky Dipper, The Georgia Dippers, Big Cope Dippers, Chris Dips One, Big Prepper AZ, Hillbilly Dippers, Paige Your Elmbach, Fat Zack Dips, Eric Dips, Gold Dipper One, Underground Dipper, Full Grown Dipper, Power of the Dragon, Redneck Dipper 98, Green Grizzly 11, Country Dipper, Saint Dippers, Green Grizzly 910, Legend Dipper, Snooze Freak, Midway Dipper, Longhorns, Backwoods Dipper 7, Grizzly Boys 910, Goon Chospiters, Insane Dipper, Pace Freed, Copenhagen Bandit, Gusher Bros 110, Cope Buckle 01, Jesse Ryan USA, Jingle Dippers, Jake Snake, Copenhagen Dippers 234, The Georgia Dippers, The Dip Man, Copenhagen, Matt 3756, Rebel, Rebel Dip Man 94, Jingle Dippers, Black Copenhagen 22, Ghost Dipper 321, Jaga Boys, Jesse Ryan USA, The Little Dippers 09, Eric Dips, Copenhagen Bandit, and sorry that this video will be posted up a little late. I did a new review on Skull Peach that was up today. Um, I know I should have did a different chew, but I didn't have anything else, and I felt that the review that I did on the Skull Peach was bad. And hold on one sec. Okay, so it was five dollars. Um, at Bannock Peak, um, presentation. It's a really nice can. See, it's a really nice can. Sorry, my finger got in the way. It's a really nice can. Oh yeah, go to RedneckNation.com. Um, go to. Mud jug, if you don't got anything or want any new mud jugs or never have had one and want to try them, um, don't go to shitbud.com or the one spitter. Yeah, don't go to the one spitter because I typed in what Insane Dipper had on his on his channel, like in the description. It wouldn't pop up. Sometimes it would, but not all the time. Um, presentation, I like the color of the can. I don't like that as a warning on the side. Give me some advice if you think I should buy a roadie, a mud jug, a can lid, something. Give me some advice and tell me which one to buy. Um, I have... I like this one and my yellow one and my purple bandit and my bones but the cut it smells like black black velvet to me it's really strong um, it's a it's a fine cut it's just like snuff um, it ain't dry the date on this is sell by the 31st of this May 31st yeah it is actually outdated it is but it doesn't look like it um, I, uh, I don't chew this a lot because it's expensive just like snuff um, it says it's 
U.S. Smoke List Tobacco Company, Nashville, Tennessee, 37203-186644-1822. Warning, this product can cause gum disease and tooth loose. Um, it says it's 100% American tobacco. Um, let's see what the pinch, pack, and spit ability is. So, pack ability without taking a dip out, because I'm going to take a little one, then repack it and put another one in just to give you guys a full bill. So, pack ability. Great. So far, I'd give it an 8. This is my favorite dip. My second favorite dip. It would be my first favorite dip, but they don't sell it everywhere. that I go, any stores I go to. So it pinches really well. It's loose like snuff. If I don't hurry up and put it in, I'm gonna lose some. So I would say it's fine, it's really fine. So it gets us an eight. Spit is not as dark as it needs to be. Um, let's see. It's it packed red again, so it definitely gets a nine. Nine. Um, let's re put another one in. Well, not re put one in, but we're gonna take a little bit. I want that much. For staying in my mouth, spitability is a five. For staying in my mouth and flavor wise, it's dry, but it does give off a good smell. Um, sorry when I post this up, sorry that it's late. Let's let it soak for a little bit. Like, it's not terribly outdated. Um. Ooh. But there's no flavor. I've had this before and it's supposed to give off a whiskey flavor, a black velvet flavor. Um. Smells like it though, but anyways, I just wanted to bring you guys another video. Um, thank you for tuning in to Cowboy Dipper. Keep on packing a lip, keep on letting her, oh yeah, would I recommend this? I'd recommend it to anybody. Um, I think they should lower the price on it, they would sell more. I think they should still have stores selling it. Because I know people that buy the shit out of it if they wouldn't let it yeah. go outdated. Like, I know a lot of people that let their <laughs> stores that let this get outdated. Um, so anyways, yeah, keep on packing my lip. Keep on letting it rip 24-7. Um, cheers if you haven't put one in yet. Stop the video, start over. Keep on liking the video. Um, can you tell me what dips to do next in the Copenhagen series that I haven't done yet. Um, I will do two full cans if I win some money soon. Win enough to buy a roll. I'll come to Bank Peak or Jet Stop and buy me a roll. Oh, fuck that. I'll do three cans. Instead of two, I'll do three cans of your guys' choice. Uh, next video... I will buy a roll and do that so you guys tell me what kind of chew you want me to do. Um, I will not do a kind that's outdated. It has to be a kind that always stays fresh. And I want it to be strong. And if you're going to pick Grizzly, I would recommend not. I would just not, but anyways, thanks for tuning in. Um, overall this dip gets a 10. And
and I'd like the full review dude to do a video on this. I don't know if he has. If he has, I'd like to have him redo it. Um, so that is my second favorite dip. Copenhagen Snuffs third, and Naturals first. The only reason I like Naturals is because they sell it everywhere. It's a good dip. It's moist. This one is not moist. Usually this one's outdated, which right now it is. I don't like outdated chew, but I can handle it. I will not throw it away. I will go stick it in the freezer and it'll come back and be a regular dip. Um, yeah, so I am out. Sorry for the delay on the video. Um, I did a peach one. Now I'm going to put this one up. Um, tell me if you guys would like me to still do them on Monday. Just tell me if you guys think I should just do put up a video when I run out of dip. So say I run out of chew, I will still do them on Monday, but say I run out of dip that week, I grab one, grab a new can of something, I will do a review of it. But on, but I'll do a can also on Monday too, so, so I'll randomly do some, I'll, ran, I'll buy two cans and do one randomly when I run out. And then I'll save the other one that I've done for Monday. So tell me if you guys think that would be a good idea. I'm out.